All right, all right, all right, all right. We're recording. Beautiful. Always great to see. Hey, buddy. Sam Crowley. We're going to get rock and roll in just a few minutes here. Hey, let's do it. Hit the record button. Cool. So I'm recording this. If you have to jump off early, that's great. Um, I've got a blank sheet of paper. That's the whole topic of today's presentation is I was thinking back um, through some, you know, some super difficult times. Uncertain times. Hey, Dan. Great to see you, buddy. Dr. B. Good to see you, pal. Um, and look, we're in uncertain times. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. You guys know that, right? I got 20 college credits. Most of them are gym and health class for crying out loud. So if you're looking for the smart guy in the room, uh, go somewhere else. But if you're looking for some inspiration today and some ideas um, to not just get through, but to really thrive in these uncertain times, I think I got some good ideas I want to share with you today. And uh, I'm going to harken back to about five years ago when we were hit uh, with a really super duper difficult time in our life and how we kind of close ranks around the Crowley house. And um, we were kind of in our own quarantine from real life. I mean, I don't even remember sleeping from 2014 till about 2017, I think. So um, let's dive into it. This is actually pretty funny. I was talking to somebody earlier. I said, hey, I got to get my presentation together because I've got one blank slide to show. And they're like, you're not really doing a webinar with one blank slide. I'm like, yeah, of course I am. This is This is what we're doing. So uh, there it is. How to thrive in difficult times. And you see that? You see that? This is what we're going to fill in. You see that thing that says double click to edit? That's the ideas and the inspiration that we're going to fill in today. Um, because I think so many times, man, aren't you sick and tired? I don't know. Maybe I just speak for myself of just getting all these prepackaged ideas, you know, like here's the digital course, here's the Facebook group, here's the membership videos, dive in, watch the content work at your own pace. There's a place for that stuff. But I also think there's a really big gap in just being who you are, putting yourself out there and say, hey, man, this is who I am. If you dig it, great. And if you don't, that's cool too, man. But I just want to let you know, I don't have all the answers. Matter of fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with you today to get the answers and at least create some momentum. Because all you got to do is get from point A to point B. I say it all the time. Just do simple better. Hey, why don't we make that? Is that okay with your guys' permission? Can I just make that the first thing we type there? Do simple better. Is that cool? Can we make that the very first thing that we talk about so we don't get too caught up in all of the uh, different avenues that we can go down and all the crazy, you know, ideas and, and uh, you have to be an expert in this and you got to be an expert in that. Do simple better. What do you do? What do you, what do you really enjoy doing? For me, I like to talk. Shocker. You know, I grabbed this uh, blue snowball for webinars. I've got the Sure MV88 for my podcast. Uh, I always got a microphone nearby because I want to record content. Um, God gave me one gift and that's the gift of messaging. Uh, we have to hire somebody to change light bulbs in our house. Okay. So I don't have the gift of fixing anything. Um, like I said, not the smartest guy out there uh, intellectually. I just know how to create really massive momentum with a very simple message. And it starts with that phrase you're looking at right there. Do simple better. Okay. And also, I'm going to also put down here, show up authentically, authentically and different, which kind of means the same thing. So let's say show up authentically and well, I'm going to put different, but I'm going to put different, whoops, than everyone else. Because what's everyone else typing about? Conspiracy theories? Have you, have you seen a conspiracy theory on the internet in the last five days? Uh, anybody? Anybody seen anything out there that might think that there's something else going on and there's some power pulling you this way or that way? And, you know, it's neat. It's good to, you know, if you like to scroll Twitter at 10 o'clock at night with a glass of Merlot, that's cool. But that, I don't think it serves to greater good. And I don't think you can generate revenue doing that. You know, I, I think if you can show up authentically and share ideas, what are you guys doing? Show up on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, wherever your favorite social media platform is and share what it is that you really like to do and make it simple. Just do simple better. I'm going to put up here A and then we're going to put a line all the way over here. I'm going to go B. I was just teaching at a live event in Vegas. If you were there, it was amazing this past weekend. And everybody in the room, we talked about this for an entire day, getting your client, your prospect, whoever it is that you're, you're messaging to, getting them from point A to point B. Point A is they're stuck. 
they're stuck right now. It doesn't matter if the coronavirus is going on or what, what's the next plague that's going to hit. People are home right now wondering, okay, I still got to pay my mortgage. I still got to pay my utilities and all that good stuff. I got to pay my rent, whatever that looks like. Can you show me how to get unstuck? All right. Now, maybe for you, that looks like showing somebody how to, maybe you're motivating people. Maybe you're inspiring them, or maybe you're showing them how to uh, earn income on the internet. It could be a lot of different things, but can you just keep it simple? Can you just identify the current state that I'm in right now? I'll share that with you. I'm your ideal prospect. I'm telling you I'm stuck in the area that you really do simple better in. Can you get me unstuck? That's it. Can you do that? I gladly pay you for it especially if you can get the result, very simple result. If you get it, if you solve a bigger problem, then you get to make more money doing it. But it's very basic. Can you just get me from point A to point B and forget about, so for example, a lot of people in internet marketing think, well, look, I got to, I got to put together their Twitter, their LinkedIn, their Instagram, their YouTube content, their Snapchat, everything is stories and all these things. And I got to be really good at video. I got to be good at audio. No, you don't. No, you don't. I would gladly pay you to get me unstuck and get me into my desired state if you can just explain it to me in simple terms and not show up like everybody else does on the internet. It's not that people are more successful than you, all right? It's that people are better photographers than you are, okay? So that photo that they're putting on Instagram had 37 different filters to it and they, and they tried to take it 25 different times. They finally got it right with the right light and everything. Can you not do that? Can you just show up authentically? Can you just show up and explain to me how to get from point A to point B, very simply? So when I was thinking about, you know, doing this webinar, isn't it funny when you're watching, I feel like Get Smart. You guys, am I too old to Get Smart reference? Talking into my shoe and my watch when my Apple watch rings. Um, <laughs> I turn my ringer off and your watch rings. That's the stupidest thing ever. All right, so this is what I was thinking of. Um, those of you who have been following our story, this was our daughter. And, and this was kind of the impetus for today's training that I wanted to show you guys. This was our daughter that was born at one pound, Susan Catherine Crowley. And that's what she looked like a couple of days after she was born. And this is when our whole world got turned upside down, guys. This was 2014. All right. So it was the summer of 2014. And we found out in the spring of that year that we would be expecting our fourth child. Uh, well, the fifth one, we delivered a baby boy who unfortunately didn't live. That was our very first child in April, April 19th of 2000. But um, this was our, our fourth child. Three, we had three daughters at the time. And so it's like, great, we're excited. Not the youngest people. I'll be 52 in June. So we weren't exactly the youngest people in the neighborhood. Okay. And so we were excited. And then, you know, long story short, Angela's having complications throughout that summer of 2014. Lo and behold, her water breaks at 23 weeks and we deliver at 24 weeks. Okay. So a baby is barely viable at 24 weeks. The lungs are not developed at all. And so this was Susan. And this is where the whole world got turned upside down. And I had to figure out, and we had to figure out, how do we thrive in these uncertain times? You know, it's not like when you go through what we're going through right now all these people now that are quarantined in, in the United States, it's not like, you know, the bill collectors stop calling. Isn't it funny as a side note, how many of you've gotten emails from credit card companies saying, Hey, I just want to let you know we're here for you in these. Un I just want to let you know what Citibank and chase and discover and you know, what we're all doing for the, I don't give you an update. You know, it's like, yeah, good luck. If you miss that payment, they're not going to be sending you that feel good email by the way. Um, so they still are looking for their money. Everybody's, you know, the world still happens outside our window, even though it seems to shut down with what we're doing. So this is what happened in the, in, uh, 2014. I'm like, Oh my God, this is crazy. And the very first two days, I remember getting a bill for $40,000. Think about that. Two days in a hospital. We hadn't even delivered a baby yet, you know, $40,000 bill because they didn't code it as an emergency. Even though my wife got taken to the hospital in an ambulance, that was a $3,000 Uber, by the way, with sirens on it going down I-71. Uh, $3,000 for the ambulance, $40,000 for two days. And what I started doing, and this is actually a really great lesson, if you're running into situations in your own life right now, and maybe in the next uh, 30 to 60 days, 90 days, you got some issues, get on the phone, just start calling people. Because what happened was I started calling and saying, hey, I got a $40,000 bill for two days in the hospital. And Elaine said, yeah, I'm really sorry, but you can make payments on that. I said, make payments on it. I don't have $40,000 and, uh, you know, sitting around here to give to you for two days in the hospital. Can I talk to your supervisor? And I got to talk to your supervisor. Can I talk to your supervisor? 
And before, and I was very nice all the way up the ladder. And before you knew it, um, I got it down to $800 from $40,000, you know? Imagine that, all because I just stayed on the phone and talking to people. So understand that, you know, if you're going through some tough times, maybe in the next uh, 90 days, whatever happens in this, you know, crazy uh, situation we find ourselves, just get on the phone and start talking to people. And you'd be, you'd be shocked how much you can negotiate that stuff down. So anyway, long story short, we deliver Susan and from one pound, she was born and we, I was working from the NICU, uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. That's Susan at 26 weeks. And this is what's going through my mind this week. It's like, I've been through this before. I know, I know this pain. I know this uncertainty. I know this fear that people are feeling and that everybody really is feeling right now. What's the unknown? What's going to happen? Now, remember, normally a baby open their, opens their eyes in the womb at 26 weeks. Well, at 26 weeks, I'm sitting there and I'm on my laptop and she looks up at me and that's the first time that her eyes open. It was pretty wild. And so for the next nine months, my wife were at Children's and we were praying over Susan and working from the NICU and that's us holding her. And, you know, that's the end result. You know, that's what a baby looks like when, you know, the best case scenario happened. She, she was on, and I didn't show you, she was on a trach forever and she's on a ventilator forever and the ventilator was 45 grand a month and, she still has a G-tube, although we don't use the G-tube that much. But I say all of this to let you know, while this stuff was going on, I was there generating ideas in the NICU because, you know, still had to pay the bills, you know? So what, what, what would solve that problem? Well, cathartically and mentally, if you really want to get yourself away from, you know, all the crazy stuff on the news, get off the news, by the way, get off Twitter, get off Facebook, especially all the conspiracy, everybody... Everybody there hates the president or loves the president, hates their senator, loves their senator, hates the governor, loves their governor. None of that stuff is any good, okay? None of that good stuff is any good. So create content for you mainly. This is for you, okay? So what's that look like? Well, there's only three ways to create content. You can create audios, you can create videos, or you can create uh, written. You know, that could be posts, that could be PDFs. Uh, that, uh, any kind of digital download. Why would you do this? Well, this is what I did back in the day. You know, I was creating the Everyday Saturday podcast. If you take a look, and oh, by the way, it's not very difficult. And this isn't a podcast training, but you guys that know me know I've been doing this for 15 years. I was one of the early pioneers of this platform of podcasting. If you go to iTunes and you just search inspiration or motivation, you're going to find my show. Same thing with your content. As soon as you put a podcast on iTunes, it doesn't cost anything to do. You, don't, you can't pay iTunes to be ranked any higher. People are going to find your content just by searching up there. They're going to click on it. And here are all your, your shows right here. And this is what kept me going. You know, and I've been doing this for 15 years, but every day I would record a 10-minute audio from the parking garage at Children's Hospital just to keep my mind sane, just to stay sane, just to be like, this is great. Okay, great. And it puts me in a state. You guys know what I talk about when I say get into state. You know what I mean? It's like get yourself out of this state and put yourself into this one, a very positive one, a very empowering one, because it just changes everything. It changes your mindset. It changes everything around. It changes how you feel. Because there'd be days I did not want to do a podcast, and I would just grip it and rip it, record it. I use my phone. Those of you guys that listen to the show, you know I record from my Kia on a dark Dunkin' Donuts parking lot every morning at 7.30 a.m., okay? And somehow got 18 million downloads. Go figure. So that tells you it's not about the equipment. It's not about how great your studio is. It's just about your message and how authentic it is, you know? So create content, whether that's an audio, a video, and whether it's written, and just put it out there. It doesn't matter if it's your mom or your nephew that see it or download it. That, that's not the point. The point is not how many downloads you can get right away or how much money you can get right away. The point is now you've taken yourself from a woe is me, victimhood, I don't know, worry, fear, anxiety to, I just created content and I put it out there. Somebody's consuming it. It's not like nobody is, okay? And what you need to do after you do that is you need to create the habit, okay? You gotta create the habit. That means you gotta create this habit every single day, maybe twice, three times a day. You don't need to do a Facebook Live every hour. It's not like, you know, if you did five in a day every day for 30 days, at least in my opinion, I think that would have a little bit of banner blindness to it. I think people would see that and they'd be like, oh, Geez, another one? Okay, they're starting to sound like all the other ones, okay? But what is your zone of genius that you're gonna create this stuff around? Let me even go back up here. What is it? 
you know? And don't get too caught up in a fancy term, zone of genius, but this is something that you do really well. You really enjoy doing. Forget about making money. This is not about right now, today, March 20th. This isn't about how fast can I make the cash register ring. This is simply about what is something that you really enjoy talking about that you could create an audio, that you could create a video, or you could write a Facebook post about on a business page, okay? Or send an email out to 20 people, you know? Here's a funny story, man. I'll tell you, I, I have more people that have made anywhere, clients of mine, five to 10 grand just by filling a room full of 10 people, you know? And here's what happens. If you can get, and this is a wide open training, okay? So, uh, this is where my mind is going. I just go to thinking, how can I inspire you guys? And then how can I show you how to make a little bit of money in this uncertain time? So really how to thrive in uncertain times, starting with a blank sheet of paper. We're just putting ideas down. So what about this idea? What about getting a room at a Hampton Inn or a Marriott or something, throw them 50 bucks, 100 bucks? I just had a client come into town and uh, recently uh, got them a room at that hotel and they throw in the banquet room for free, you know, the conference room for free. And that gives you an opportunity to mastermind and to create really amazing content throughout the day. But what if, and the room held 75 people. What if you got 20 people in a room? What if you had 10 people that came out because you were constantly showing up what authentically and different than anybody else. You were talking about your zone of genius on social media you were creating content, audios, videos, and written, and that turned into your habit. What if you then had a call to action? Hey guys, I'm gonna have a local live meetup. You can go to meetup.com and something very simple. Remember, we're doing simple and we're doing it better than anybody else out there. And 10 people show up. And so you shared your best content and after a couple hours of interaction and helping people, you gave them an opportunity to do business with you over the next 60 days or 90 days. And for that opportunity for them to really get closer to the source of momentum, which is you, they were gonna invest a thousand bucks. And if there's 10 people in the room and five of them took you up on that offer, it might even be more than that, you just earned five grand for a couple hours of work for a, a room that you might've paid a hundred dollars for and that now, how great would that make you feel? You know what I mean? It's like, sometimes I think we just get lost in how complicated things are out there. And then you think about, geez, I got to pay these bills, man. I got 20 grand I got to come up with next month or five grand I got to come up with next month. And it's just too much to think about. Well, it is when you think about that in terms, I got to make 10 grand next month. Okay. Well, how about this? How about we chunk it down? How about you got to make 300 bucks a day? All right. I know that's nine grand, but let's just say 333. Okay. If you had to make $300 a day, what does that equate to? Well, you got to make 150 bucks before noon. And then you got to make 150 bucks after noon. And that's it. And once you do that, you're done. And if you want to go a little bit further with that, then you're ahead of the game for the next day. And there's got to be this sense of urgency to this as well. So I'm going to just, in, uh, new slide. And let's do this. This is what a lot of people don't have, man. They just, they don't have this sense of urgency. I think now they do, you know, I think in this climate they do, but for most people, they don't, they're very comfortable. And over the past year, there's a lot of people, there's almost a generation of people that have never felt what we're feeling right now. They weren't around really as adults in 2007 and 2008 to feel that housing crash. They don't know what it's like to have to get out there and have to work and figure out a way to generate income uh, without a whole heck of a lot going on. Those of us that went through 2000 and 2008, then you know there's a happy outcome just like there was in my story, you know? It doesn't mean there's not work. My daughter still has uh, some really uh, difficult speech problems. You can see the, the mark there that the trach left in her throat. But guys, compared to where she started with a, a journey of right here on that day, I remember the doctor telling us that there was an 85% chance of her having a profound neurological disorder, cerebral palsy or anything along those lines, you know? So just think about the worst case scenario that could have happened at a situation that you've gone through in your own life and it didn't happen. You know, Mark Twain said, I, I've worried about a great many problems that did never happened. You know, so we spend a lot of time worrying about things that most likely won't happen. But what this does in this climate, it gives us a sense of urgency. So put a sense of urgency down, put a deadline. What's the date that you want to get something going? So do, like, do you want to earn income in the next 30 days, in the next 60 days? And don't make it complicated. You know, there's a lot of freelance sites out there. The first 
what, how, where, where would I go? So where would I go, where to go to get stuff done? Well, um, Upwork is a great place. So there is, there's a very simple video right there. I was going to show you how to put video on a Zoom. So let me just say Upwork.com. That's where I go when I want somebody to get done with click funnels or integrate Infusionsoft or anything like that. Uh, Upwork.com. All right. Bunch of freelancers. All you got to do is search by the job. Okay. And you can see I got a couple going right now. Click funnels. Uh, people that are doing doing work for me, but Upwork is one, Fiverr is another. These are places you can get stuff stuff done anywhere from five bucks to a hundred bucks. Freelancers can do, I mean, anything you need done, anything, anything you need done. But Sam, I don't know how to build a website. I don't know how to integrate an autoresponder. Just go to Fiverr, have somebody do it. You might have to kiss a couple frogs frogs before you find a prince, but that's not the point. The point is you're working that muscle and you're getting the habit built that you are, you know, it's got to stop with you, man. There's nobody else that's going to figure this problem out. All you got to do is delegate these, you know, and figure this stuff out. So you want to build a website? Great. This right here, um, very simple page. Those of you that listen to my podcast, let me, let me share with you my funnel. And if you guys got any questions, you can fire them in the chat. Wide open for questions as well. I just wanted to keep this simple to inspire you that you can absolutely make the next 30 to 60 days the best that you, I was just talking to a client earlier today and talking about the amazing opportunity. How many people are using Zoom right now? I mean, Zoom is exploding because everybody's got to work from home. Students and teachers and online entrepreneurs, employees communicating with their bosses. I mean, just this online platform alone, you guys can be teaching people how to use Zoom, putting YouTube videos out there. I mean, there's just there's such an amazing opportunity to help people through these next 30, 60, 90 days. And you could make a great living being that person who provides the resources showing up authentically, authentically and who you really are. And be honest with people. Say, hey, look, I'm getting you from point A. Point A is you don't know how to host an online conference. Point B is now you know how to host an online conference. Thank you very much for my $97. Okay, that's it. And that's, that's as basically as simple as you can make it to earn income online, you know? Uh, this is my calendar. Those of you who listen to my podcast, I send people to launchwithsam.com. All Launch With Sam is, is a $8 domain name that I bought and I redirect it to everydayasaturday.com forward slash calendar. And if you go there, you watch a video, that it, that's my kitchen, okay? I'm in my kitchen shooting a video on my iPhone. So I have my iPhone sitting on a tripod. And I invite people to choose a time. So I'm using Once Hub. Once Hub, I'll show you that right here. I mean, guys, I'm just giving you my entire funnel right here that I've been using for the last 15 years. Okay. Once Hub is an online calendar solution. All right. That's right here. This is Once Hub integrates. This is Vimeo. All the all the same platforms that you have available to you. The only difference, and the, the main driver is, I haven't bought an ad in 15 years, okay? That sends people to launch with Sam. I haven't paid for an ad in 15 years. All it is, is the podcast, that's it. So remember when I told you pick an audio, a video, or some sort of written word to inspire people and show up authentically? I choose podcasting, that's it, you know? And the reason I like podcasting, I'll even show you, this is for my presentation at my live event in Vegas, but I'll show you as well. This is why, because the average age of podcasters is that sweet spot right here, 25 to 34, up to 45 to 54. So basically age 25 to 54, this is where close to 70% of podcast listeners are. Their income, 32% more likely to earn 75 grand or more, 37% more likely to make 100 grand or more, and 45% more likely to make a quarter million dollars in annual income. So what are podcast listeners? They're right in the perfect demographic for you. They make money and they're highly educated. You know, almost 70% of podcast listeners are more likely to be postgraduate. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like how much education is that? Like a bazillion years, you know, and you got 56% are more likely to be graduates. And I just think that, and then 45% are likely to have some sort of college degree. This is amazing, guys. This is, this is why I show up every day on iTunes, because when you take a look at the age group, the income, and the education, it fits the target market 
perfectly for what I'm looking for. So that's why I chose. Now, I don't know the demographics of Instagram. I don't know the demographics of YouTube. I don't know uh, the demographics of LinkedIn, but pick a platform that you love showing up authentically on every single day and do simple better, all right? And the, and the one other thing that I do on my podcast when people do listen to my show, so I'll do a show every day. You can see I just did one this morning called Motivation. Here's what you can do right now and get results. Here's another thing. The reason I rank so high, so if you look at inspiration, I was in the top three. If you look at motivation as a keyword, I'm, I'm searching just like people search for my show on iTunes. If you search motivation, there's my show here, usually in the top five or six. Because I've got motivation and inspiration right here in the title of my podcast, right there. From Every Day Saturday with Sam Crowley. Motivation I've got in the actual title of the episodes as well, which is critical. Motivation shows up down here as well. You'll see motivation. There's another place for it. Motivation, motivation. And I'll use inspiration. So if, you're, if you have a podcast and you haven't really ranked as well as you wanted to, uh, a few things you can do to rank higher is put the title, the keywords in the title of your podcast. That's a big one. Number two, put the keywords in the title of each episode. Number three, make sure you get people rating, leaving ratings for your show. It doesn't matter. Love the show, let me know. Hate the show, let me know. Just make me relevant, man. The last thing I want to be is irrelevant. You know, I want to make sure that I, you, whatever emotion you got stirred up, let me know about it, you know? And another one that iTunes doesn't talk about but is really important is the number of most recent subscribers to your show because iTunes wants to deliver the most relevant content, you know, for your show. And if you can knock those things out, look what happens. This is the entrepreneurship category. Look at all these big names in here, okay? And you go down to entrepreneurship, you've got, you can see there, Tim Ferriss, Gary V, Ed Milet, Rachel Hollis, and look at this guy, man. Which one of these doesn't go with the other? I mean, look at all these big names. And then you got me, you know, head of Russell Brunson and all these people. And I say all of this to you because if I can do it, podcasting in a Kia every morning in a dark parking lot from my car, you can do it, you know? You can do it in these difficult times. And there's no need to pretend like life isn't difficult. Life is difficult. And even if you're okay financially right now and you've got eight years worth of runway and your savings is million, it's not like other parts of your life you got figured out. Just don't lie to people. Nobody thinks you got life figured out. And if you came to me and said, hey, I got my personal relationships are amazing. My finances are amazing. My health is amazing. My relationship with God is off the hook. I wouldn't even believe you. And I want to teach you how to make every one of those amazing. I wouldn't pay you a dime because I know you're lying. You know, nobody's got every single facet of life figured out. And nobody expects you to have every single facet of life figured out. All they want to know is, can you get me from point A to point B? All right. I don't care if you're bankrupt. I don't care if you're divorced. I don't care if you've been married 35 years. All I want to know is, can you solve this problem for me ethically? And if I pay you money, will you give me that result? That's what people want, especially now more than ever. Wouldn't you agree with that statement? Like you would gladly pay somebody to get you the result that you're looking for if they just were honest about who they were and the result that they can provide instead of pretending like they can be everything to everybody, which we know they can't be. And my goal in showing you all of this today we're going to wrap it up in a few minutes unless you have any questions. And I'm, I'm going to throw this on my YouTube channel as well. Every day is Saturday and you can take a look at the replay if you want. I just wanted to inspire you guys because I, I know, I remember how difficult it was for myself and my family when I was thinking every day, man, I got I to gotta go to Children's Hospital today for six, seven hours. We got to drive our daughters to school and then we come back from Children's. We got to pick our daughters up at school. We got to make dinner. We got to do homework. Got to do baths. We got to do all that. And then we got to do it all over again tomorrow. Okay. All I want you to know is that nobody expects you to have all this figured out. Okay. All you got to do is get through today and hit on as high a level as you can get through today. Okay. You don't got to watch a video of somebody else who's crushing it with their Lambo and their new boat living in their yacht and all that. You don't need to watch that stuff. You need to watch people who and model the individuals who are doing what it is that you want to do. Maybe I do what you want to do. Maybe you want to be a coach. Maybe you want to be a mentor earn income online and do a podcast. Okay. Then just model what I do. I just showed you my entire funnel, you know, the landing page, the opt-in, uh, to book the call, all of that. There's no, I mean, one's hub is like $15 a month. The only paid item I showed you on my funnel was if you go to launchwithsam.com was one's hub. That's it. 
I don't even know if Vimeo might have a free option, so maybe it's another 10 bucks a month. For, but you can put a YouTube video here, so that's free, all right? WordPress site, YouTube video for free. You can use Calendly. You don't even need to use OneSub. You can use Calendly, that's free, and integrate that. If you wanna make money in the next 30 days, then all you would need to do is put a podcast out there or Facebook Live or whatever it is, drive people to your own site, your landing page here, and have them pick up time and get on the phone with them. You don't need to be great at phone sales, all right? Remember, people are ready now. They're ready for that. Hey, if I would you, hey, you gotta qualify to get on the phone with me. Hey, I'm ready to sell. Like they're ready for the big sell, okay? If you just come at it with 95% of that phone call, how can I help you? The other 5% when you do, because I ask everybody, you know, and by the way, I'm gonna, and I'm going to give you this opportunity if you'd like to, you can go to everydayisaturday.com forward slash calendar and you can book a call with me. And for 25 minutes, I'm gonna give you the best advice I've got. I mean, we're, we're gonna solve whatever problems we could solve in 25 minutes and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would do in your situation to create massive momentum. That last five minutes, I'm gonna say, hey Joe, hey Mary, can I share with you how we can work together over the next 60 days? And put all this together, done for you. You know, we're about it, the tech stuff. So you and I can focus on your zone of genius. That's what's gonna happen in the last five minutes of the call. And you're gonna either say yes or no. And either one's fine. I'm not gonna, it's not like I'm gonna curl up in a ball if you say no. And if you say yes, guess what happened? We just formed an amazing relationship that's gonna change both our lives, you know? And that's what you do. When you get on the phone with people, don't put pressure that you need to sell them and don't feel bad about asking for money and asking for the order. Because if you really did go into that call looking to help them, there is absolutely, they're gonna beg you to at least share with them how you can work with them. I know because it happens all the time when I'm on the phone with you. Sam, how, tell me about, they, they do it more than I do. Hey Sam, tell me about your coaching program. I can't afford anything right now, but I'd love to hear about it. Hey, great, let's talk about it. Because for 25 minutes or maybe even longer, I helped them. I went into the call trying to help solve a problem that they got, getting them from point A to point B. That's all I did. You can do the exact same thing. Get people on the phone, use a calendar. You know, it's free to do this stuff, guys. There is no charge. And rather than being on social media and worrying about all the things that you can't control, the one thing you can control is how you show up, how you train people, and how you share your intellectual property and your zone of genius with them. You're going to make a lot of money doing it that way. You know why? Because I never even teach about money. I'm the guy that always teaches about the value. But here's what I find. The money hunts you down. It does. It really does. Because after a while, people are like, damn, that Crowley guy, he does two things, podcasting and coaching, podcasting and coaching. I never see him doing anything. I do, I just, I do, I speak on stage too, but I mean, I was just came back from Vegas, just getting in under the, the quarantine gun, by the way, got barely got back, took the red eye back Sunday night, but teach people how to speak from stage as well. So if you keep it simple and you do it better, you're going to be rewarded handsomely. And, but if you make it complicated and you end up wanting to be everything to everybody, not only are you going to frustrate them, you're going to frustrate yourself. You're going to be like, I don't know what I do. I do a hundred different things. Have you ever thought, man, I got a hundred different ideas, but I don't know which one to pick. Okay. Pick the one you're most passionate about that you can do simple better with. That's it. Do that and do it over and over and over again. Instead of doing 4,000 things, do one thing 4,000 times. And I promise you, you're going to find success. I promise you, if we just go back to the original PowerPoint here, do simple better, A to B, show up authentically, zone of genius, create content, pick one. You don't need, you can do a couple if you want. Heck, you can, you can create a video and then just strip the audio out and that can be your podcast. So now you got a video and an audio. And if you don't know how to do it, you don't need to know how to do it. You want to know how simple that is? You Google it, all right? Convert. If you created a Facebook Live, convert video to MP3 is what you want to do for a podcast. That's it. On a Mac. Okay, I'm using a Mac. There it is. And I've, I've used these. I forget which one I use. I use one of them. I've, oh, if it was on my laptop, it would already be highlighted. Any one of these can do it, guys. So all you do is just take your, uh, your video, you put it in, they convert it to an MP3 for you, so you multi-purpose your content. So all you got to do is talk one time. Do a Facebook Live, download the video to your computer, put it into one of these converters that are free and just now you got a podcast. So you've done a Facebook live and a podcast. Okay. This is so simple for people that are simple like myself. If you're somebody that tends to overthink, this is going to be complicated for you and you're going to have to force yourself to stay focused on one area. Because if you stay focused on one area for the next short period of time, you're going to be rewarded with new customers, new revenue, 
and new, a new lease on life and with a lot of inspiration that no matter what happens to the economy, you're not going to have to worry about it. All right. Because you're staying right here in your zone of genius and solving a problem. All right. That's it. I wanted to share this with you guys to inspire you and motivate you to keep going. And if I can help you at all and you want to book a call with me, just get on my calendar. It's right there. Everydaysaturday.com forward slash calendar. Uh, check out the replay. I'll email it out as well. It'll be on my YouTube channel. And I just wanted to pump a little bit of enthusiasm into you guys before you hit the weekend. We're all quarantined. We're all hunkered down with our families. I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. And I know our best days haven't even happened yet. All right, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Happy Friday. And if I can be of service to you, just please email me anything, anything I can do for you. Sam at everydayissaturday.com. All right. Have a great weekend, guys.